Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Yegor and I am a Salesforce developer at Enway. We are a Salesforce Consulting and ISV partner and we help businesses overcome challenges using Salesforce. In this video, I will show you what ways you have to set up lead routing in Salesforce. Let's get started. With lead routing in Salesforce, you can automatically assign leads to the sales rep who are best equipped to handle them. You can set up rules based on things like geography, industry, and even lead score. So, for example, if you are a real estate company, you can make sure that all leads from the particular district go to your sales rep who specializes in that area. By ensuring that each lead is assigned to the right rep, you can provide a better customer experience. And let's be real, lead routing is just plain efficient. Instead of manually assigning leads, you can let Salesforce do the work for you and increase your lead processing speed. There are three main ways to configure lead routing in Salesforce. Number one, out of the box features. Number two, app exchange applications. And the last number, number three, custom solution. Let's talk a little more about each of them. The first way to assign leads is to use inbuilt Salesforce tools like lead assignment rules and flows. Let's start with lead assignment rules. For example, you are a real estate company and we need to assign all leads from Boston to Dave, who works in this area. First of all, we need to have active assignment rules, so let's create a new one. We need to give this rule a name and uh, mark it as active. That's done. And you need to note that only one rule can be active at a time. Now we need to set up a rule entry for our case. You have to be careful with the order number because only the first rule entry with the appropriate criteria will be used for the record. In the criteria, we check that the city field equals to Boston. As a result, all leads with this city will be assigned to the day. Well done, we have a working assignment rule for our case. For more flexible customization, in addition to lead assignment rules, you can use Flow. Let's implement our previous example in Flow. Also now, we want to save the date and time when the lead was assigned to Dave in a custom field. For this goal, we have created record-triggered flow for the lead object. This flow is triggered on insert or update. In decision element, we check the city field has necessary for us value. In case with Boston City, we need to change the owner of this lead. In our example, we store the ID of specific user to whom we want to assign a lead object in a custom label. This will allow non-developer users to easily manage this parameter. But using flow in addition to owner change, we can add some additional logic. As a simple example, you can store date and time when the lead was assigned to this user. Flows allow you to do a variety of other things like create or delete records, run some flows, send email, and so on. Here our ready flow. Let's talk about the advantages of the out-of-the-box features. Firstly, this is a free solution. And secondly, it can be configured by administrators. But these solutions also have some disadvantages. First of all, it's quite difficult to control if you have a lot of rule entries in assignment rules of complicated logic in flows. Secondly, this functionality may not be enough for the needs of your business. The second way to assign leads is to find a pre-made application on the App Exchange Store. It's a marketplace where businesses can download different applications that work with Salesforce, including lead routing solutions. Some of the solutions you can find there are Distribution Engine, Cuber, and QAssign, and more. With these applications, you can set up rules and criteria for sending leads to your sales team. Just keep in mind that these applications aren't free and might need some customizations to fit your business needs. Now about the advantages of these solutions. 
Number one, there are a lot of applications on the App Exchange Store and you may find the perfect solution for your business. Two, they can be configured by administrators. And the last one, there is vendor support. But third party applications also have some disadvantages. Number one, these are paid solutions and you need to make sure that the price fits your budget. Number two, if you need additional functionality in the future, it may be problematic to get it from the vendor. Here comes your third way for lead routing in Salesforce. Custom development for lead assignment using Apex, Lightning Web Components or Flows. Let's talk about pros of this approach. Number one, you can implement any solution that is required for your business. Two, you have full control in case you need to implement a new feature or make changes. Three, you can share this custom solution between your Salesforce organizations like an unlock package. Four, it may be cheaper compared to third-party application, especially in long term. And the cons of this custom development. Number one, you need to manage the development team. And number two, final price of development. So now you know how to configure lead routing in Salesforce. And we can help you to set up a solution that works seamlessly with your existing systems and processes. Visit our website to learn more about the custom development at NV. The link is in the description. Okay, that's all I have for today. If you enjoy this video, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more content. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.